Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the neutral grip cable row. Okay, so there's many variations of a row that we can do. You can do rows for, for lats, you can do rows for upper back, you can do rows for rear delts. It's seemingly endless, it seems like, that you can do rows for a certain muscle group or at least help bias a certain muscle group. So what we're gonna be talking about in this video is simply doing what we can from a setup and execution standpoint to best bias the lats during a row. So things that we need to consider are going to be first, our attachment, okay? So our attachment is going to be a huge part of our setup to actually dictate how we're able to execute the movement. So if we have a attachment that puts us outside of a position that's optimal, let's say, for us to actually create leverage with our lats and actually use our lats. So again, as we talked about in many other videos, if you're not set up properly, it's gonna be extremely hard to actually execute the movement properly, feel it where you want to, um, and actually you may start to feel tension or a sensation in that area, but it may not be quality tension. Okay, so a big part is going to be the attachment in the setup. So a common attachment that we'll see in most gyms are gonna be something that's neutral grip. Think about mag grips. Um, think about anything that's neutral and again kind of has your hand in this neutral position, your wrist in this neutral position, for example. So here we have the mag grip that is neutral, okay? So the first thing we need to do here, again, is pick that proper attachment to put ourselves in a position to actually start to help and bias those lats during a row. Okay, so the next thing in setup that we're gonna be talking about is going to be body position and torso position. Okay, so our lats are going to actually help create this motion of the upper arm, okay? So for too far up, it's going to be hard to actually contribute and actually get that lat to help with pulling that humerus down. And if we accomplish that, it's going to be very hard and actually you're gonna be fighting yourself quite a bit to actually try to make that work and it's gonna be kind of awkward. So that being said, there is a component of hip flexion. So you may have seen rows like this going around uh, whether it's on social media or other websites. So let's explain the whys behind your seeing this. So this component of hip flexion, you can see that I have a couple different setup points here. So naturally, this cable system, I'd naturally want my feet lower on this platform to be able to create enough hip flexion to get myself into a good position to actually create leverage and really use my lats in that row. Okay, so that being said, you can see that this doesn't go down as far as I needed to. So all I'm doing here, it's nothing too complicated or too advanced. If you have enough plates in your gym, just simply place 45 pound plates or a plate that's big enough uh, down there so I can actually put my feet in a position where I can create this hip flexion. So I don't have great hip flexion, unfortunately, so you can see if my feet are all the way up here, I get stuck and I can't quite get into position that I need to. And it feels kind of uncomfortable. So with these weights down here, I'm able to actually position myself into a position where I'm in a great position and give my last great leverage to do work, okay? So the next thing and a very common mistake that we see is when we actually start the row, okay? So Typically when people start to really try to focus on lat training, they forget that the elbow flexors, they forget that the bicep actually needs to do some work here, okay? It naturally is going to be a stabilizer for that shoulder joint, the elbow joint, and everything in assisting in this rowing motion. So a common mistake that we will see in this motion is going to be something like this where the setup may be great. You're in, again, you have a neutral spine, abs are contracted, they're nice and tight, chin is nice and neutral. But what happens is, is we'll get this. And someone, so they, again, they, they lead with driving that upper arm down, which is a really good position to be in. So they're starting the row really nice. And then you'll see that they don't allow those elbow flexors to kick in. And so their row almost looks like this, and they're gonna be fighting themselves the entire time. So again, setup is crucial here. So getting ourselves into a great position 
getting that hip flexion component in there, getting a slight lean in our torso. Again, stabilizing those abs. So think about compressing those abs to help stabilize everything, neutral chin position, and actually allow those elbow flexors to do work, allow those biceps to do some work, okay? So what we're thinking about here on the way back is actually going to be, okay? So I'm, I'm going to think about driving this upper arm down, okay, driving this down, and then our elbow, again, is going to be a continuous down and back until we reach a position that's somewhere even with our body, okay? So we, when we're about here and even with our torso, that's gonna be the end range of motion that our lats can really contribute to, okay? So if you see, you're gonna wanna try and finish the full range of motion, and that is the full range of motion for this movement, okay? So per movement, range of motion changes, okay? So especially if we're trying to bias a muscle group. So that being said, if we're trying to bias the lats and really work our lats, and we start to do this, then we're starting to transfer load excuse me, I'm trying to, we're starting to transfer load onto that upper back, maybe rear delt, uh, traps, rhomboids, things like that. So away from our lats, which isn't the goal, right? So all that being considered, we need to get into good setup as we talked about in the beginning. Nice head position, abs are tight. Nice forward lean, okay? Again, down and back here. And we're gonna stop in a really good position somewhere in line or even with that torso position. Okay, so a common thing that people are gonna to wanna to do is extend at the upper back, okay? Letting those abs go. And what we need for that strong lat contraction is those abs to be really engaged. Again, you don't have to overly compress, but we need them stable. We need them compressed and contracted, helping stabilize this movement, okay? So everything is nice and stable right there. So again, that common mistake is gonna to want to be to not only create momentum here with the hips, but also just start to hyperextend, let those abs release, and again, tension is going to be taken away from the lats, not our goal. So that is the neutral grip lat row.